This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, we are in control here again at the base. Dog over here. You talk to it, and it'll bark at you. And if you go in these tents, yeah, it'll kind of do that thing where it shows the area you're in. There's a treasure over here. Urgh, the top won't open. Right. So, depending on what you select here, it actually changes whether or not you can get it. It's either kick it or hit it. I don't remember. I think it's hit it. Youch! Who goes there? No, a sentry. I knew I heard something. Meow. Just a lousy cat. That was too close. Is that Sabin impersonating a cat, I guess? So, get a star pendant out of that. Otherwise, if you kick it, the dog will come in and you'll have to fight the dog. And then you don't get the chest, I believe. Um, as far as dog, I don't remember if it's a... I can't remember if it's like a an enemy that you don't encounter otherwise or not. And yeah, this soldier, as long as you don't talk to him, he's not gonna bother you. You can walk right past him. And move down here, and then it has another automatic scene. There's General Leo. General Leo, the citizens of Doma seem to be playing a waiting game. That's their strategy. General, we're ready to take the castle. Just give the order. Patience. If we attack now, we'll have to sacrifice too many lives. But General, I'm ready to lay my life down at any time for the Empire. You're from Miranda, right? N yes sir. Why? And your family lives there? Call in battle, and I'll have to deliver the bad news. What shall I say to them? You have a life to go back to someday. Don't throw it all away for nothing. Emperor Gastal wouldn't want that. Yes, sir. General Leo. Carrier pigeon from Emperor Gastal. What? The Emperor summons me. I must return immediately. I understand, sir. Right. I'll leave Doma in your hands. Yes, sir. Okay. Just don't jump the gun. Please. Sir, leave it to us, sir. Right. So he seems like a decent guy. Even if he's on the wrong side, maybe. So that's General Leo. He could be my friend if he weren't my enemy. Yeah, exactly. And there's Kefka. Now that Leo's gone, I'll turn this water into a flowing river of poison. The Emperor has ordered me to return home. I don't want any trouble here. You loser. I'll take care of this situation in no time. Don't be pompous. And don't forget that they are people, just like you and me. We need not spare those lands that gave rise to the Returners. You just go and be a good little boy. Is the poison ready? But General Leo said, He's no longer here. I'm in charge now. For it. Some of our people are prisoners inside the castle. If we poison the river... Do it! Take them all out! That's inhuman! Huh? Silence! Your history, bub! Here we're actually fighting Kefka. Doesn't really matter what you do here. Ouch! Kefka! Wait. 
Wait, he says. Do I look like a waiter? Yeah, so he runs away after you hit him once. I don't think there's any way you can do enough damage to him to, like, take him out. Wait! So, yeah, he'll stay there until we go and talk to him again. That does give us a chance to explore a little bit more of the camp. I don't think there's anything we can do down around here, either. Up here, though... I believe there's some stuff we can do. You can come up here, and actually back here you can... Jump over the wall. It doesn't let you go anywhere except into the tent here. But there is a barrier ring in there. A pretty easy one to miss. I think. Just because I don't know how many people would think that you could do that if you hadn't actually tried it. No. So it casts shell when HP is low. So shell protects you against magic a little bit. That's not the kind of thing I like to equip. Because I don't like wasting a relic slot on something that only kicks in at low health. Here we got two more treasures. This one's a mithril glove. I think that is like the barrier ring, but it's the opposite. It casts, yeah, safe, which is basically like protect. So that's down on physical damage. But then again, it's also when HP is low. This one, though, is a monster in a box. Actually a pretty tough enemy. I think it might be unique, even. So I am gonna try to throw my toughest stuff at it here to try to get it over with as quickly as possible. Because he can do some status effect stuff, too, which will kind of a wrinkle into things, and I think this is actually a... Yeah, see, he put um, Saban into Berserk status, and now I can't control him anymore. He will hit harder physically, but I'd rather be able to... Okay, yeah, that's what happens sometimes. You will get gathered to have his dog attack sometimes, and there are a few different attacks the dog can do. All right, but we got a green beret out of that too, then. And that is a hat. It's actually pretty good. Is it defense of eight percentage magic defense? Now, I don't know if you can talk to this guy. Yeah, so. Is saying that we can't we can't go confront that guy. We got to take care of Kefka and his poison. Wait. <laughs> what a toad! Once again, the same kind of thing here. Just hit him once or twice, and it's over. Ouch! Kefka, wait. Wait, he says. Do I look like a waiter? Yeah. Just recycling the same dialogue. Huh? How long do you expect me to put up with you? Next time, you're a goner. Okay, well, here's that next time. Oh, gripe. Hey, if you know what's good for you. So, basically, yeah, uh, he's having the soldier attack us. So, Templar and soldier. I actually should probably use potion to make sure Sabin doesn't get taken out. Shouldn't be much of a problem here. Yeah, they do a last 
move kind of sometimes. Not every time, though. Now we got another cutscene. Hee <laughs> hee. Nothing can beat the music of hundreds of voices screaming in unison. Ooh, ah, ha, ha. And yeah, the river does change color. It's poison now. Must be pretty strong poison if it wouldn't dilute down even with that much water. Sir Cyan. The Empire's base is bustling with activity. Something must be up. Huh? The water looks odd. Yep. One by one, they just start dropping like flies. I guess they all drank the water. Except for the two up here, I guess. Sir Cyan! This is... Poison! What low-down contemptible... Guard our liege! To the king on the double! But actually, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you can explore around a little bit. Or not on a timer. And I did pick up some better relics now, so let's see. Oh yeah, and I did get that when we fought that um, commander. And the black belt actually is counterattack randomly, so it's not a 100%, but I think that's a pretty good one to put on him. To the king on the double. Right. King's room is near. So he automatically goes in there. Your Highness, fear not. It's there. I, an Excellency. Indeed. My sight is going fast. Can't see it. Excellency, hang on. I, an... You have defended the realm since my father's days. Thank you. It's over. Our kingdom is through. Not yet, Highness. Fear for your play. It's on fire. Save your strength. Don't talk. Run to your family. Minus. Yep, he's gone, I'm pretty sure. The Cyan. There have to be some survivors in the castle. Let's split up. Cyan's theme is another great piece of music in this game. Got a remedy there. He looks in the room, but you don't actually go in there. It stops automatically. Here too. Sir Cyan, we're through. So you can go outside, but I think a lot of the paths are blocked with the bodies of the dead. Including here is a way to go outside, but I don't think there's anything else we can get to. What you want to do is go up here. This was Cyan's room. Elaine, Elaine, wake up. This... this can't be happening. Owain? Not you, too! 
stunned. Both leave me. Dear me. Impossible. Idiotic. We can't forgive this. Empire must pay. I am Cyan, retainer to King Doma. The enemy, get ready, everyone. Yeah, so basically he just comes out here and starts taking on the soldiers. He has a couple of tonics on Fabin. And if we go and talk to him, may I give you a hand? Thank you, whomever you are. So, he's not exactly in the party, but we can help him out. I just can't control him. Let's see what else he said there. Let me have at it. What a mess. Be careful, sir. Yeah, just more grunts here. Got a tonic? Once again, it was auto-scrolling there. Sorry. Look, we're gonna have to do this together. Thought had occurred to me as well. A death hit its time with the grunts. There's a takedown. Yeah, he can actually do pretty good damage. So, the random counter-attack kind of automatically for him. Thank you, kind sir. Allow me to thank you. I am Sabin from Figaro. Now let's scram! But what of my home? My family? My friends? Look, if we stick around any longer, we'll have a regiment of troops down our throats. Got him! Over here! Ooh boy. I have a great idea. Come over here. That's yeah, automatically taking us over here. Sir Sabin, what on earth are these? I'll explain later. Relax, just climb in. Horses him in. Sir Sabin, how might these abominations be manipulated? I'm getting sick of this. Thou art such a pain in the... Confound it all. I'm starting to talk like you. Now listen... Just use those levers located by your hands. Sir Sabin, it is I who is in your debt. Forget it. Now come on. Hey, what are you doing? Ha ah, ha we can't stop now. He just mows him down. Then let's just bust through. Yeah, this is another section of the game where we actually do have Magitek armor again. End of the line. So we just have the same four spells that Fix and Wedge had to begin the game. I'm going to take the opportunity to use the heal force to give us all a free heal. Because I don't think it takes more than one beam to take these guys out. These are the same guys that we fought at the end of the Figaro Castle sequence when it sank into the desert. So, they were pretty tough then, but now they're not. Got a potion. There's nowhere to run! Yeah, too bad we don't have any... any of the abilities that hit multiple enemies, but at least there's one for each of us.
the potion. Who said anything about running? Alright, we got two of them, but it's preemptive. That should be simple enough. And two potions. Yeah, we can go around that. But it doesn't let us take them past that point. Can't believe we've made it this far. Hey, how did we get to Narsha from here? Narsha, eh? Only one route through the forest to the south. All right, it's decided. Let's get going. And now I don't think we can go back into the military base now. So that was a unique opportunity. So the items in there are actually missable if you didn't get them. Doma Castle is right over here, but it's just occupied by the Empire now and they're not going to let us in. So. We'll need to go there. Grasshopper. Hadn't seen one of them yet. Oh, actually, I think it says it's a grasshopper. Looks like a C and not a G to me. Another potion? Dude, how much money have I? Yeah, I got quite a bit of money at this point, too. Uh, I'm gonna drop a save here. Because now we are heading into the forest. It's not just a world map forest, it's actually a section. It's the Phantom Forest. Got this awesome music again. And we got ghosts in here. We'll use fire against us. I think they're also weak to fire. But even in a back attack, we're fine against them. I think you can run into groups of three of them, though, so it could be a little bit tougher. And we have a recovery spring here. Got the arrows pointing us through the forest. I think I could go down here as well, but... Yeah, here's the group of three. Yeah, the fact that they target all of us kind of sucks. And he stopped saving. So yeah, up there you can see there's a train up there, it looks like. A train's there? But I thought Doma's railway has been destroyed. Maybe survivor's inside. Let's take a look. The only place that actually stops us, but yeah, I didn't have a choice to keep going farther to the left. Hey, we can get in right here. Sir Sabin. We can't just wander around out here. We have to go on board. Sir Sabin. Don't worry. Sir Sabin. What on earth? Let me off. This train's haunted. Eerie whistle blows. It, it's moving. If we don't get off now... Won't open. We're too late. What's with this train? This is the Phantom Train. It carries the departed to... the other side. Wait a sec. I don't want to go there. Y'all have to go sometime. I have things to do here. We have to stop this thing. Let's make for the engine. Yeah. 
But for Cyan, maybe he wouldn't be too upset about leaving because his family and friends, everybody has just died. We got a bomb. Final Fantasy staple enemy. Dropping a lot of potions for me lately. So yeah, we got the caboose back here. You have some of these ghost enemies, or well, the NPCs walking around. In this one, you can actually talk to. What is it? Seems to want to come with us. Bring it along? Sure. So, yes, you can actually get a ghost in your party, which I always thought that was kind of cool. You can't equip anything on him or do anything with that, but you can select his abilities. You can actually control him in battle. We got a save point here. I manage this train. What business have you here? Hmm. Tell us about the train. This train ferries the dear departed to the other side. There they can take their eternal rest. For Starion. How do we stop it? Want to stop the train? Just use the controls in the engineer's compartment. Be these time schedules? Hmm, they're all blank. The phantom train guides the departed ones to the spirit world. They have no need of schedules. Why is it here? What's this? Let me just give it a... Sir Sabin. Maybe we shouldn't fumble with that. Give him my best shot. Can you? How could you? Cyan, you're not scared, are you? What of the ghosts? Maybe. <laughs> How dare you? Just because I respect other beings' property doesn't mean I'm not mechanically minded. Cyan... You're a total klutz when it comes to machines. Silence! How could you tell? Yeah, so that's his thing. Mechanically inept. Alright, so we're about four hours into the game and we're on the phantom train here. And there's another ghost there. I think it would be another one that could join your party. So, like, if the ghost dies, you can't resurrect him. With a phoenix down, but you can just recruit another one. And there are ghosts in here now, too. Look out! So yeah, some of them, you'll actually just have to fight them. And he can possess an enemy, which is basically a kamikaze attack. He'll sacrifice himself, and I don't know if it automatically takes him out, but it'll do damage. And yes, you also have random encounters. Whisper and Hazer. I don't think the ghost does a lot of damage either when he attacks. The main thing I appreciate about having him along is that it um, gives the enemies another target. So it kind of makes it less likely that one of my three party members will be attacked. Howdy folks, I have some great value priced items. But yeah, some of them will also let you shop. I'm going to buy too much. Get a couple of things. So that are, those are your three types of ghosts you find here. Ones that let you shop, ones that want to join your party, and ones that want to kill you. Here we got another guy, still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer battery. I think we're actually going to go ahead and call it there for today. So we'll pick up here next time and continue making our way through the Phantom Train. And 
from what I remember, yeah, we're probably not even going to finish saving scenario next time. Because even after you get done with the train, you're still not in Narsha yet. We'll keep moving forward anyway, though. But thanks for watching, and if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.